get into this video you're about to watch. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. I choose to be extraordinary. I choose to be a sign and a wonder. Not because I'm a man of God. I hope you know this has nothing to do with ministry. Too hot for the devil to answer. That when they are enchanting things about you and they carry your picture to a shrine, as soon as they call your name, the fire that will come out there will be an eternal lesson that there are people and there are people. The Bible says there are many kinds of bodies. There are celestial, there are terrestrial. Not everybody is the same. Not everybody is the same. The person who takes my picture to a herbalist, my fear is not the person, it's the herbalist. Can you be so much of a threat to the kingdom of darkness that even at your default state you are on fire? Hallelujah. I listened to a tape by someone, he's an evangelist, and he used to be in the occult, and this is what he told me. He said, Satan brings, it's like a blanket. The Bible says the God of this world, the God of this system, has blinded their minds. Hallelujah. And then, the blanket is over people, and when they begin to pray, what happens? There is a breaking. That's why sometimes when you start praying, you see that you sense that there is a resistance. You are struggling. You are moving. You don't even know what is happening in the spirit. And sometimes you just feel like sleeping. And some of you just start and later on you are still like clean the saliva and get up. You will not go far that way, brothers and sisters. I would lie to you. Anybody that tells you your prayer life is not important is the enemy you should be praying about. Hallelujah. And while you pray, there is the fire of the Holy Ghost. I know you've had different teachings on fire. One day I'll give you a scriptural teaching on fire. Fire is neither solid nor liquid. Are you listening to me? Fire is not threatened by anything. You cannot box fire and put it in a hole. You can't even catch it. But you cannot resist the effect. When you put your hand, you can't hold fire. You can't. It's not solid. So when you hear people say, Holy Ghost, fire. I know that there are all kinds of exaggeration. But brother, there is a separate baptism called the baptism of fire. He said he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. When that comes upon your life, you enter the role of those who have registers in the realm of the spirit. They are called touch not. And that's what we want you to become. You look at someone and they say this person has been oppressed by demons. And you don't just sit and say, hey, hey, hey what shall we do? And then you are not just trying to activate your faith. Bring it out, bring it out, activate it. No, no. You rise to a plane where as soon as you enter the room is the demons that will be negotiating. They'll say, we know you will cast us, but we want to beg you, can we give you where we want to go? And they say, go out, just leave. I was told that there was an event that happened in Redeem Camp. Some people gathered and they were praying over one demon possessed man and they spend hours because until you stand before the burning bush you cannot stand before Pharaoh hallelujah and the man was peeling banana the white man wore his hat and he was just eating banana and he saw them struggling he said what's going on here he said we are trying he just came he tapped the man he told the demons out instantly all of them left see there are celestial beings there are terrestrial beings. Not everybody is equal in the spirit. You may wear the same jeans, 2005. You may buy the same polo shirt. 
But when you begin to pray, there is an earthquake in the spirit. And they say, whose voice is this? Because the Bible says, when the lepers, the lepers in Samaria, they said, why we sit here until we die? Let us get up. In the spirit, their sound was amplified. And they had chariots. That when you begin to pray, they look at you in the spirit and say, who is this man that looks like God? That was the testimony of the three Hebrew boys. They say the fourth person we see standing looks like the son of God. Rise up on your feet. Ah, hello. Ah, Elohim Madonna ah, Elohim Madonna become the priest of your destiny can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes salamakata senakandas kamahasabash rakata pakato sopokoto sheketelekata emprata seneketo janikata tasete shanahas kabaratos reketeketekete kabarakatos Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. I hope you're mightily blessed by this video you just watched. And if you have not given your life to Christ, this is the avenue for you to do so. Do it like, share, and comment on all our videos. Don't forget to hit the subscription button to get updates from this channel. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. Stay connected.